we are off to do more errands. Yeah. This is one of the last things that I ended up getting sold. It's a tripod bag for some old gear that I had. And my uh, friend who is holding some of the gear that I had in Minnesota, finally I got in contact with him and he was able to send me my tripod. So now I have a nice tripod to be able to shoot some really cool video with as we go on this journey. But we've got a few odds and ends yet to pick up. And namely, one of those things is selling that and sending it off to you. I think this time something's going to Rochester, New York. But here's, here's our car. And um, we tinted the windows, as you can as you can see, she needs cleaning though. She it's does weird. need cleaning. This stupid tree. Yeah, here. this big, this big palm, coconut tree, is constantly shedding and dropping all kinds of stuff on here and stuff like that. But yeah, you can see we have nice dark tint on our windows, and uh, yeah, so you can see. It gets pretty dark pretty quick in here. Yep. See how dark the tent is? And that is so that we can basically sleep, yep. you know, when we need to. And right now we have, let's see, this shield thing on our windshield. And we're going to roll this up real quick. That is not as easy as it looks if you do it from the inside you have to like get it really like small and stuff in order to roll it up because it's got like a little velcro thing that goes around it but you know it locks down pretty pretty nicely and um you know we're just kind of getting our sea legs you know with this car and trying to figure out exactly how it works right what what's best for it right now we've got the mileage up to what 49.2. We had it on 50 point something, but she doesn't like being floored. You lose a lot of gas mileage when you do that because it's not meant to be kind of car to be like a race car. 49.1. She just went down one. <laughs> it's like she likes the Go open road. Yeah. She if she gets the open road, then, she's then good. yeah, because we had her up up there pretty good. And, um, you know, it's a different kind of car. So for sure. Ready 49. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. She just pulled out of the driveway and she's at 49. Yeah. But we're going to get her back up. We're okay. going to get her up to like 60. Who knows? So we're going to go the long way around, right? So we can come. Yeah, we live in. Um, or no, we could make a left. Fort Lauderdale and. We could make a left. It's always so busy. We have, you know, this road's not bad because this is like a little side street, but once you get onto this, this street here, especially after three, it starts to get kind of crowded. North, oh wait, east to beaches, north, out of here. <laughs> You know, it used to be better with directions, and I'm gonna get better because you know we're gonna be living on the road and stuff. But I mean, I used to be really good at directions, and just not as sharp as I used to be. But it'll come back to me. I know. Right now, though, we're going off to the post office, and we're just gonna finally get rid of the. One last thing. That done pretty good. Everything uh, that we had, we were able to sell and we donated a bunch of stuff um, as well. But, to this place? Yes. Back here, well, oh, it's, yeah. it's back a little further. It's into the closet. It's, it's called, a, uh, it's called out of the closet. Out of the closet. Of the closet. <laughs> and yeah, it is a um, LGBT friendly it is, uh, uh, drop off center and, uh, and proceeds go to. But they have some really cool clothes there. We bought some nice 
clothes and now we brought some nice clothes back to the place. But I just can't believe this is where we're gonna live out of. Yeah. And inside. That's gonna be our bedroom back there. It's gonna take a lot of careful organization and we're gonna have to develop some sort of system so that you know we know where everything is and everything has a place and everything has everything and that kind of stuff. This is the kind of stuff. Oh my God! Yeah, Did you see him? He, yeah. he thinks he's. Uh, he owns the road. Yeah. Pretty much, that's what he thinks. Gosh. Why do people have to drive like that or ride like that? It's just it's the same reason people do what they do. A bunch of crazy politics. Crazy politics. So it's going to be nice to just get out of all this traffic. Eventually, congestion. Eventually. You know, it's it's all about energy. And when you live in a very congested, materialistic, self center city, you pick up all that bad vibes. Yeah. And, you know, one has a choice. You either choose to live in it or you choose to live out of it. And I don't know about all you, but I choose to live in it. Linda chooses to live out of it. Yep. So we're going to be busting out of this matrix in what, three days? Yeah. Is it three days? Three days. That's less than 72 hours, folks. Yeah. Seriously. We bought this car and the previous owner must have had a black short hair Short hair? Dog. And it doesn't matter how much how many times we do it. Always a hair of some sort. Yeah, we come to this they know us by name here now because we've you know stuff. Mark and Meta Hi stuff we've sold on eBay and just Mailed out. So, you remember where it is? It's yeah. Over there. How can I forget? Very dark window thing. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Well, that was that. Uh, yeah. So now I do you have anything? That's it. That's it for today. That's it for today. Tomorrow is yeah. a really big day for us because we got we gotta go. Um, Still working out. I can't, oh yeah, I can't see it. But what, one of the main things that we're going to do is we're going to return some of that stuff, that, um, like the cable box. Yeah. Because when we got some internet package or something, they sent this whole contraption to our house that we don't need because we don't watch TV. And um, basically, we're going to bring that back, we're going to disconnect our cable. So we won't have internet, but we will have our phones. Like, that's what, that's sort of what we have typically is our phones. Um, you know, when we're on the road and stuff like that. But eventually, we're just, you know, going to be, what? We have a hot spot, right? Yeah, we have a hot spot. We have a hot spot and we have our phones. Yeah. And our phones are on the um, T-Mobile um, unlimited plan, so we're planning on going north. At first, we were thinking about going. Um, what was it? I'm going to put my seatbelt on. And um, we were thinking about going, going more towards like the mountains, like the, the um, Blue Ridge Parkway and all that, but. Seems like our journey is going to take us up the eastern coastline. Yeah, so we might kind of do that. And check out all these cool places that are along the Atlantic Ocean and stuff. Places like, you know, northern Florida, up into Georgia, crossing into South Carolina, Cape. Cape Cod, I think it is. Uh, there's some 
state parks and some national forests, national monuments that we're going to hit out. So yeah, it's going to be quite, quite exciting. And we're not going to, we're not going to be really driving a lot during the day. We're just, you know, maybe, maybe four hours, five hours max. But, you know, we're just going to take our time. Yeah, because that's the whole concept of it. It's really I've never actually really been that end. I mean, I've been to Philadelphia once many years ago when I, uh, when I was in uh, college and I was living with a girl at the time and her family lived in Philadelphia, so I met them a couple of times. And then I'm in New York a couple of times with the TV stuff that I did on Maury Povich and Montel Williams. But other than that, that's, that's far. That's, that's it. That's, that's it for me on the uh, East Coast. Yeah, and for me, I did a long trip out to what was it i landed in virginia and a friend of mine we it was back in 1993 we drove all the way up from virginia into dc pennsylvania then up into um, quebec montreal quebec city and then all the way into prince edward island and came back to maine but really didn't have time after crossing from canada back into the united states had to be back to catch my plane, so we drove like crazies all the way from the Canada border all the way to New York City and down into uh, the D.C. Baltimore area. I'm excited, so excited. So yeah, me, Boston, Virginia, and Carolinas. So yeah, it's going to be really, really exciting. We don't know exactly where we're going to end up staying, sleeping, um, you know, all part that's, of the adventure. that's all part of what you guys are going to find out as you take this journey with us, because uh, we may end up in a Walmart parking lot some nights, we might end up in a state park, we might end up in a residential neighborhood, we just yeah. don't know, you know, we might end up camping on the beach, you know, because we're going to be on the eastern seaboard, so there's going to be plenty of ocean, there's going to be plenty of barrier islands and things of that nature to look at. And we're going to probably take a little travel into uh, some of the major cities. Like we were, we're going to stop in New York City and probably park across the street over in New Jersey right. so that we don't have to Deal get hit with tolls and parking and all that stuff. So, But um, yeah, so that's kind of the kind of the plan in a, in a nutshell and then who knows who knows if that's going to change we don't because we just go wherever the wind takes us because well, there's really no agenda we don't have anywhere to be you know, so. we're hoping to connect with like-minded people along the way yeah we're going to look forward to meeting up with folks you know some of the youtubers out there that are doing the same life and, uh, you know, I'm sure we have stories, we'll have stories to, sh to tell and to share and exchange and ideas and things because, you know, we don't know anything. We're just, you know, learning as we go. You did this back in 2008. Before. Yeah, I did. Uh, with uh, Dodge Ram and uh, a Lear camper thing that I put on top. And, and you built a back bed and everything, did. didn't you? The whole thing, created a little snuggy little living area solar panel yeah and back then a solar panel was ridiculously, ridiculously expensive, expensive. Yeah. and not very efficient no, not yeah. but you know i am uh, definitely looking forward to this journey with you my twin definitely looking forward to taking you all with it's gonna be a journey thanks for coming with us